So here we go. This question says, copper 2 sulfide has a KSP of 1 times 10 to the minus 36. What is the molar solubility? And I've done a little clarification here. I've said in moles per liter, and you should say, duh, Ms. Manny, that's what molar solubility means. Molar means moles per liter, but I'm just reemphasizing that. Of copper 2 sulfide in, very important statement, pure water. Okay, copper 2 sulfide, CUS solid, in equilibrium with copper plus 2 and S minus 2. Pure water means this, zero ions floating around. If it's pure water, it's considered deionized water. So we have no ions floating around. Now I did notice on the owl, instead of using a Z, they use the word sum. And when they do their minus X plus X plus X, instead of saying Z minus X, they say sum minus X is really just sum. So that's the same thing as me saying Z minus X is about Z. Okay, yes. Yes. It'll just help you to memorize it. You don't have to. It'll help you on the multiple choice when you're trying to get through problems pretty quickly. And there's really only three you have to memorize. If it's one to one, it's x squared. If it's 1 to 2, it's 4x cubed. And if it's 1 to 3, it's 27x to the 4. It'll just help a little bit. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're not going to worry ever about that solid side anyway. It's just part of the stoichiometry. So if I want to find the solubility, the solubility is x or s. If you did it with s's instead of x's, it would be x. All right, and so I have the KSP given which means I can take my KSP expression, which looks like this, and say copper plus 2 times sulfur, sulfide minus 2. That is 1 times 10 to the minus 36. That's the value of KSP. That's going to equal x times x. That's going to equal x squared. Don't you dare pull out that calculator. So because I have the KSP, I can find x. Last class, we were focusing on being given the value of x, and thus we could find KSP. Today, we're lear learning the backwards of that. We can take the KSP value that's given and find x, or find what's called the molar solubility of copper 2 sulfide. Yes? Okay. So, square root of that is obviously x, right? Square root of this, let's break it up into its two pieces. What's the square root of 1? 1. And in order to figure out the square root of negative 36, we say 10 to the negative 36 raised to the 1 half power. And when you have that, those numbers get multiplied together. So what's 36 times a half? 18, and you keep the negative on there, so you get negative 18. The unit's always going to be molar solubility, so moles per liter. That is my value of x. That is known as the molar solubility. Easy peasy, right? I can handle this. All right, what if it's not one to one? What if it's not one-to-one? -one? I'm so glad you asked. Let's look. Okay. This one says magnesium phosphate has a KSP of 1 times 10 to the minus 24. What is the molar solubility in moles per liter of magnesium phosphate in pure water? Okay, again, pure water. We're looking for the molar solubility, so we're looking for X. It's magnesium phosphate. So, Mg3PO4 taken twice, solid. I need to know my poly ions. Because what if I didn't give you the formula and just gave you the name? Mm. Mg plus 2 and PO4 minus 3 with a 2 coefficient and a 3 coefficient. That's what I mean by not a 1 to 1 mole ratio. 
Now we've got to incorporate our coefficients in our x's. Our coefficients in our x's. Now pure water means this. No ions floating around. So I put zeros. We just say it's some value, z, minus x is the molar solubility that does dissolve, that does fall through the cracks, plus 3x is the amount of magnesium ion created, and plus 2x is the amount of phosphate made. Okay, so at equilibrium, we have z minus x, which we say is approximately z. We have 3x, and we have 2x. And how am I going to solve that for x? Dividing what? Okay, I have to get the x alone. So KSP, in this particular case, is going to be magnesium ion cubed, yes, phosphate ion squared, three, and that need not take three. So, 1 times 10 to the minus 24, my KSP value is going to be set equal to 3x cubed times 2x squared. You might say, Ms. Vatney, we didn't do that one the other day, I know. That's why we're doing it today. Now, this is one, Michael, that does not pop up very often at all. So, I want to make sure we at least saw it. Just in case, but it's not the common one like I showed you the other day. One to one, one to two, and one to three. They're common ones. A two to three is not as common for us to see. Don't say we won't see it, but not as common to see. All right, so what's 3x cubed? 27x to the third power. And what's 2x squared? 4x squared. 27 times 4 is 108. And then x3 times x2, you add those exponents together, so you say 108x to the fifth is how that works. Now, that's not one I'd tell you to memorize because it's not really going to pop up, especially on the multiple choice. It's not. I don't think. Let me clarify that. I don't think. We don't see that one as much. So, okay, so how do I solve? I'll let you use a calculator here. I'll let you use a calculator here. Divide both sides by 108. Both sides by 108, okay, and then raise both sides to the one-fifth power. That's the same thing as 0.2 power. Raise both sides to the one-fifth power. Raise both sides to the one-fifth power, okay, and we get a value of 6.2 times 10 to the minus 6 when we get our x out. That was a little bit too far. That was a little bit too far. I didn't go quite that far. So we get 6.2 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter equals my x value. Now, we didn't do this on number 1, but how would we turn it into grams per liter? Times the molar mass. That's all you have to do. Times the molar mass. Molar mass of magnesium phosphate happens to be um, 262.87, so that moles per liter times 262.87 grams per mole. See how the moles cancel out? And you're left with grams per liter, which comes out to be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 grams per liter for the solubility. Now that's not called molar solubility because it's not moles per liter. It's the solubility in grams per liter. You know what it is in milligrams per liter? That times a thousand, which is 1.6. 1.6 milligrams per liter, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 grams per liter, and 6.2 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per liter for solubility. Not as easy peasy, but still doable. Agreed? Agreed? 
Okay, can I hit stop sharing or are we still copying?